Good evening, YouTubers. It is 11.29 p.m. on the 25th of February, 2013. And we are continuing on with How Christ is the Way. We're on number three. Convictions followed with some sort of amendment. Some may dreadfully deceive themselves with this and conclude that all is right with them and that the way they are in is safe and sure because they have had things. Changed men and women when alas their way is but a way of darkness still. It is not Christ. They have never be, never came to him. Herod, hearing John Baptist, had his own convictions and amendments, for he did many things. Mark 6.20 Because Herod feared John and protected him, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, when Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, yet he liked to listen to him. Number four, many rest upon their outward civility and morality or negative holiness. They cannot be challenged for gross faults, and that is all the way they have to rest it. Alas, could not a wicked par Pharisees say as much as they, viz, that he was no extortioner, unjust person, or an adulterer, nor such as the publician was? Luke 18.11, and that is, the Pharisee stood up and prayed about himself. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. How many heathens as to this shall outstrip such as profess themselves Christian, and yet they lived and died strangers to the right way to happiness? See what that poor young man said, Luke eighteen twenty one. All these I have kept since I was a boy, he said. Number five. Some many, some may win to more than civility, and attain unto a kind of outward holiness, an outward performance of the duties of religion, such as hearing, reading, prayer, communicating, and rest there, and yet perish, for that is but their own way, it is not the right way, had not the foolish virgin's lamps and did they not wait with the rest? And will not many say in that day, We have eaten and drunken in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets, to whom Christ shall answer, I do not whence I know not whence you are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. Luke 13, 26, and 27. Luke 13, 26. Then you will begin to say, We ain't and drank in your presence, and you taught in our street. 27. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you came from. Depart from me, all you workers of evil. Were not the Jews much in duty and outward ordinance? And yet see how the Lord rejected them all. Isaiah 1, 11 through 15. 
What to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord? I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of well-fed beasts. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats. 12. When you come to offer, when you come to appear before me, who has required of you this trampling of my courts? 13. Bring no more vain offerings. Incense is an abomination abomination to me, new moon and Sabbath and the calling of con convocation. I cannot endure iniquities, iniquities and solemn assembly. 14. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. 15. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Much knowledge doth deceive many. Time wise, oops, doing good. They think because they can talk of religion, speak to cases of coincidence, handle places of scripture and the like that therefore all is right with them, when alas, that is but a slippery ground to stand upon. The Pharisees sat in Moses' seat and taught sometimes sound doctrine, and yet were heart enemies to Jesus. And will not many think to plead themselves into heaven by saying that they have prophesied in his name? There is a knowledge that puffin them, 1 Corinthians 13, 2. If I have the gift of prophecy and can phantom all mysteries and all, knowledges, all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but have not love, I am nothing. Some there are those knowledge some there are are whose knowledge seemeth to be operative and practical and not merely speculative some may escape the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and yet again become entangled therein and overcome so that their latter ends is worse than the beginning See Second Peter two twenty twenty one and twenty two. Second Peter twenty twenty one and twenty two. For if after they have escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entitled in them, entangled in them, and overcome. The last state has become worse for them than the first, 21. For it would have been better for them never to have known the way of righteousness than after knowing it to turn back from the holy commandment delivered to them. 22. What the true Proverbs say has happened to them. The dog returns to its own vomit and the sow after washing herself returns to wallow in the mire knowledge I grant is good but it is not Christ and so it is not the way to the Father and many alas lean to it and are deceived at last 7 a kind of seeming seriousness. Let me put that one below on the thing. I'm sorry. A kind of seeming seriousness in the performance of duties and in seeking of God deceiveth many. They think because they are not conscious to their own dis 
distant assembling, but they look upon themselves as earnest in what they do, that therefore all is well. Saith not Christ, that not every one that saith, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God. That is, not every one that reneweth their suit in in Geneath their desire, cry and cry over again, and, as it were, will not give it over, and yet they come short of their expectation. Did not the foolish virgins seem earnest and serious? When they continued waiting with the rest, and at length cried, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and yet they are kept at the door. <clears throat> Many considered not that there is a secret and closed hypocrisy that some may be under and not know it, as well as a gross hypocrisy and dissimulation which may be easily observed. Will not many seek to enter in that shall not be able? Luke 13:24 make every effort to enter through the narrow door because many I tell you will try to enter and will not be able to and that is where I am going to end this one so I will say that peace be with you my brothers and sisters I love you guys Shalom